How to get business credit with bad personal credit. I know, I know, everybody tells you it cannot be done. Well, I'm here to tell you it actually can be done and I'm gonna tell you how to get it done. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna give you the cheat code so that you can get $10,000 in just a matter of months. I'm gonna share with you all of my dirty little secrets so that you can get business credit fast. And I'm gonna tell you my actual story so you can see exactly what I did right. And I'm gonna also tell you a couple of things that I did wrong so you don't make those same mistakes. Let's first talk about business credit versus personal credit because obviously there is a big difference and I need you to understand the two before I can tell you actually how to get the business credit. So first let me tell you personal credits. Many of you are familiar with FICO scores and you're familiar with TransUnion and Experian and Equifax. Those are the three credit bureau agencies that report your credit and they really have absolutely nothing to do with business credit because there are two separate entities. In fact, there's actually an entire business credit agency that does not exist in the world of personal credit. And that agency is called Dunn and Bradstreet, okay? So again, on the personal side, you have Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Those are the three credit bureaus that report for your personal credit. But on the business side, you also have Experian and Equifax, but the big, big company that most people use and that really gets used and they've been around for hundreds of years is Dunn and Bradstreet. And there is a big difference between your personal credit and your <laughs> business credit. Again, with your personal credit, they are looking at your trade lines and they are looking really big at how you use your credit cards and things like that, especially your credit cards. So I'll give you a really major difference between personal credit and business credit. And this is so important and so many people do not understand this. In the business credit model, like just say a credit card, a personal credit card versus a business credit card. A personal credit card, if you have like a thousand dollar limit and you spend a thousand dollars on that credit card, even if you make all of the monthly payments and you are doing really well paying the payments, your credit score is going to go to crap because you have used most of the utilization on that card. Your, your credit utilization is 100%. So if you have $1,000 on the credit card and you use $1,000, you use 100% of that credit line and your credit score will tank. They just penalize you on the personal credit side for doing things like that. But on the business credit side, with a business credit card, say you get one for $1,000, which is another big difference that is a really small line on the business side on you know personal credit that's fine but on the business side they usually give you more they give you higher limits usually that's the first big thing but then when you use the credit card they do not penalize you for maxing it out the same way that they do with personal credit so say you get a credit card and it's a thousand dollars we'll use that same example and you charge a thousand dollars on the business side when they report it as long as you are making the payments they are going to be like yay good job business you are able to pay your debts they care about how you manage your debts but on the personal side they care that you are not really using your debt they really want you to be very careful they care about things about debt ratio just a, just a totally different world and some of the things that you do on the personal side you're literally rewarded for on the business side so the business side has so much more to offer so again if you feel bad because you have bad personal credit I'm here to tell you, do not feel bad. We have a solution for you. Now that you understand the difference between personal credit and business credit, let's get into how you build your business credit. Because again, if you have bad personal credit, we're not even gonna worry about that. We are just gonna ignore that and we're gonna just start talking about how to get some good business credit built so you don't even care about your bad personal credit. Well, not for right now anyway. So let's talk about what you need. These are the must haves. In order to really start building your business credit, you have to have your business registered with whatever state you're in, okay? So if you don't have an LLC or you don't have your S Corp or your C Corp or your DBA or whatever you don't have, you don't have your business registered, then you need to have your business registered. That is clear cut step one, okay? Name your business and then get a business, get your business registered. The next thing, once you do that, the next steps are super easy. Most of them are free. You wanna get an EIN number with irs.gov. You wanna go ahead and get an email. You wanna get a phone number. You wanna get a business website. Again, 
make your whole business. And the funny part about it is it really does not take very long. I have students that are able to put their whole business together in a matter of days, okay? And in some cases, it's not even days, it's hours, depending on what state you're in. Um, because there are certain states where you can just go online and fill out all the paperwork to register your business. In some states, there's a delay and you have to wait a few days. So if you are in certain states, you can get all of this done in a matter of hours and you can have an established business already set up that you can get credit to. And the great thing about it is when you do this, the business becomes its own entity. Okay, you as a person with your social security number, you're an entity, you're recognized as a thing. But if you create a business like I have, my business is in its own entity. It's almost like it's a separate person. It can borrow money, it can pay debts. And again, it can even die. <laughs> so the great thing about it is you, this is something that you can duplicate over and over again. Once you have one social security number, it's kind of illegal to get another one. But if you have a business and you set it up and you get business credit, you can repeat that step. And I literally have students that have two or three businesses and they have millions of dollars in funding just by repeating what I'm teaching you. You just do it one time and then you duplicate the process. So let's get to the next step. The next step, this is so easy because this is how you can actually get business credit. This is some people that will literally lend you money. You with bad credit, they will lend you money. They will lend your business money. And some of those companies right now are PayPal, Square, and Cabbage, and that's Cabbage with a K. Those three companies right now are what we call subprime lenders in a sense because they are lending startup companies, companies that are not two years old, companies where the owner of the business does not have great personal credit, they are lending you money, okay? And the key to this is you have to have transactions with them, okay? So once you set up your PayPal business and your Square business account and your Cabbage account, again, this all has to be business because some of them, they'll ask you if you wanna set up a personal or if you wanna set up a business profile and you want to set up a business profile, which is actually why I told you to do that other stuff before because if you don't have a business, an EIN number and all this stuff, then you're not gonna have anything to fill in. But it's super easy to get those things done and it's super easy to apply and start opening up those accounts. Once you have, and I'll just give an example because I just had a student, let me tell you what they did. So they started their business probably about six months ago, okay, this guy, and he is re he works full time, so it's not like he had tons of time or tons of money, but he had um, personal credit that really was not good. And I was telling him, it's okay if you have bad credit, don't worry about that, I used to have bad credit, I don't care, you can fix that. That's not like a permanent stamp, bad credit. You do not have bad credit for your whole life, you don't have to, it's up to you. So he's like, are you sure? And we worked through this. So what he did was what I just told you, he went, got a business license and he set it up with PayPal. And then he was able to do some partnerships with a few people where he was able to send them some invoices, they paid his invoices. And so he was able to create some transactions in his business. And again, you don't need a lot of transactions. PayPal just wants to see that you're using their service. And I'm gonna tell you why, because <laughs> it's kind of funny. So they make money off of you. <laughs> That's the big secret to this. So for example, when you set up your business account with PayPal and you start using and sending invoices, every time someone pays one of your invoices, they are going to charge a fee, okay? So just giving you a raw example, you send out a PayPal um, invoice to somebody and it's for $500. You're probably only gonna get like $490 or whatever. I think their fee is like 3%. So you're gonna not get the whole 500. PayPal gets money every single time that someone pays with a credit card and that's how they make their money but do not feel ashamed about that do not be, get mad about that that is okay because they have done an awesome thing and again at the time of this recording they are literally they have lots and lots of money this company PayPal owns eBay. Remember, PayPal used to be owned by Elon Musk. It's actually a very, very cash, <laughs> cash heavy company. They have a lot of money. So they actually were very smart. And what they started to do is they started to lend that money back to the people that were using the service. So if you are one of those people and you start using their service after three months, literally three months, they sent my student a loan, a working capital loan. Um, they have two different types of loan. They have working capital and they have a loan builder. They sent him um, you know, application after three months and he got $10,000. In his business's name, no personal guarantee. So this is very easy stuff to do. And again, he had a very low credit score. I know for a fact it is less than 600 because I saw <laughs> for myself. So this is not something that is hard to do. It is pretty easy. You just gotta get it done.
All right, I'm gonna give you another secret because that one's amazing. And again, I had a student just got $10,000, but I'm gonna give you another one. My student just got 1500 and this was just three days ago, okay? So this is super easy too. Have you heard of secured savings accounts? Well, you can get a loan, it's called a secured loan against your savings account. So when you go to open up your business checking account, make sure you open up a business savings account if you can. And in many cases, so say for example, you have just a thousand dollars, maybe you have it in a 401k, you have it saved, put it in that savings account and then they will loan you that money back, okay? And they pretty much do not care about your credit score. So it's called a secured savings loan. They do this with savings accounts. Some companies, some banks do it with checking accounts, not all, but almost all of them do it with savings accounts. And many companies like, um, sorry, credit unions, um, also do them against CDs. So if you don't, you, your major banks like Wells Fargo and Chase and Bank of America, they'll do it against the savings accounts. And trust me, I literally have gotten them. I actually have two right now because if you ever need to boost up your own credit, this is a way to boost up your own credit because it's an installment loan. That is the amazing thing. So I'm not going to get into all of the different types of loans that there are, but remember there's credit cards, which is unsecured. There's installment loans like your car note, and they all have a different value. Installment loans actually are really good for your credit. And this is an easy way to get one with bad credit. I literally had a student, he put $1,500 into the savings account, and then he got a loan in the business's name for $1,500. Because again, they'll lend you the same money back. So again, he gives it to them, he signs a loan, he has to pay them, I think, $80 per month, and then they hand him back the $1,500, and now it's reporting on his credit credit report. Boom. And this is the easy one. I've talked about this one a lot. This is vendor credit. Okay. So another quick way to build business credit when you have a bad personal credit is to go ahead and get some vendor accounts. But the key to this is they need to report to the credit bureaus. Okay. So just because someone will say, all right, you know, you can pay me in 30 days or say, for example, you're going to have some t-shirts printed up and you're going to use this company and they're going to print up some t-shirts and they'll say, okay, you can pay me in 30 days or you can pay me in 60 days. That's great because they did extend you credit, but it really is great if they report to the credit bureau because you want credit for everything you do because you're going to try to get this business credit built up quickly. And so here's what I recommend. There's three companies out there that I know for a fact report to Dun & Bradstreet and they give money to startups. I have students that are getting, you know, vendor credit from them on day one where they're like, okay, here's a net 30 and just giving it to them immediately. Okay. And that is Uline. Quill, Granger, okay? Those are like my top three. I know all three of those companies report to Dun & Bradstreet. You can do a um, just a small purchase. It has to be at least $50 to, for them to report and it can even be a cash transaction. So even if they won't extend you credit, they will still report that transaction to the credit bureaus and it really works, okay guys? This is amazing and this will help you build your credit really fast. And then once you get those credit trade lines to report, you can just go to the next level and start getting gas cars like Chevron, Texaco, you know, those fleet cars, they'll give those out pretty easily. And then Amazon and Walmart and a few other ones are like right behind it and it sky's the limit. Then I have also have students that can, after they do those three rounds, probably the, to get to the third round probably takes about three to six months again, because this is with bad credit. All right. So if you have good credit, this doesn't take as long, but we're talking about crap credit, low credit scores you're going to take it. It's going to take you three or six months to get to this next level where they're giving you those chases and those other things without a personal guarantee. Okay. So, cause that's what you want. The great thing about business credit is you can get it with a personal guarantee, but that usually requires good personal credit. And that's what you've probably all heard about where everybody's like, Oh, you need good credit. No, you don't. Some places do not require a personal guarantee. You just have to go about it the right way and already have some trade lines. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and watch a video that I made called how business credit scores work. I need you to watch that in conjunction with this video. It is so important. You know, I'm giving you all this information. I want you guys to be successful. Noel loves all of you and wants you to be successful. So I'm giving you free information and I want to make sure that you do these things. So make sure that you watch that video how business credit score works. I'll put a link to it below so you can go ahead and watch that video. Come on,